Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on a Virginia rapper whose body was found inside of a trunk in Miami. Brian Trotter, a 25-year-old rapper from Triangle, Virginia, was last seen October 17th, 2020, leaving his home on his way to Washington, D.C., with a friend to take photographs. Shortly after leaving, a post was made on social media indicating Trotter owed an individual a large sum of money, and the author stated, I'ma get mine. Trotter had a cell phone when leaving, but ceased all communication with family and friends. A former Virginia high school athlete, Brian was also known as Kent Won't Stop, and he was trying to make his way into hip hop in the hopes of achieving a career through music, according to family and friends. His friend of more than 10 years, Robert Coltrane, had drove from a town 30 miles outside of DC, where he lived with his father, to pick up Brian from his house in Virginia. Robert knocked on the door, Brian's father noticing he was reluctant to talk to him, saying he was acting really strange, that he usually comes in the house. This time, he was real distant and nervous, antsy. They both said they were on their way to DC, the father assuming it was for promotional photos for their music. The father and son embracing, the last thing he recalled saying to his son was, I love you. Brian's family would never see him alive again. When he failed to return home, his family filed a missing persons report, repeatedly calling his friend Robert. He told them conflicting stories, saying he dropped them off and another friend picked them up. Friends and family posting pleas for help on social media, a Facebook page even created to help find Brian. Sunday afternoon, October 25th, Florida Highway Patrol was dispatched to a crash on the Palmetto Expressway near Northwest 154th Street by Miami Lakes. The car was a silver Acura and had been driving north when it got into an accident on the rain-soaked highway. The car was towed to the parking lot of Hialeah's Westland Mall so troopers could investigate. Once there, troopers became suspicious when Robert asked to get his belongings from the Acura, noticing he removed a Glock gun case. But it wasn't the case that caused the suspicion in the first place. It was the overwhelming stench of something rotten coming from the trunk area. A smell so strong that heavy downpour had no effect on it at the initial accident site. Flies visible, now flying around the car and inside. Opening the trunk, troopers found a body, wrapped in a piece of fabric and in an advanced stage of decomposition. Robert then making a spontaneous statement saying the victim was a male. At police headquarters, Robert refused to speak with Miami-Dade detectives who took over the investigation. He was allowed to call Brian's sister though, and as detectives listened in, he apologized, saying Brian had died in his hometown, Triangle, Virginia. Inside of the car, investigators discovered a 45 caliber Glock pistol believed to be the weapon that killed Brian whose cause of death from the autopsy report was multiple gunshots to the torso. Evidence showed he'd been shot at least one time inside of the vehicle, with multiple shell casings found that were tested and confirmed to have been fired by the same gun. Robert then drove 14 hours with his friend of 10 years decomposing inside of his car. Detectives are still trying to find a motive Brian's father saying no one can understand what happened, only hoping police can shed light on what made a friend of 10 years commit an act like that. Robert Coltrane was arrested and booked into the Miami-Dade jail without bond Monday, charged with second degree murder and illegal transportation of human remains. Even though the murder allegedly took place in Virginia, he will face prosecution in Miami. Now this sounds like another YNW Melly case. I don't know what it is with Florida rappers or just rappers coming to Florida now, driving around with bodies in the car, but it's crazy. And nobody knows what the motive is. Nobody knows what would make him do this. 
but to sit inside of a car as a body is decomposing. That shit is stank. You know, the body is releasing fluids, gases. It's disgusting. And I'm not sure how someone can sit inside of a vehicle knowing that that's happening. But not only that, it's someone you've known for 10 years. You were just with this man's family. You watched him hug his father. We don't know if he did it. If as he saw them embrace, he's thinking to himself, you know, this is the last time they're going to hug. We don't know that. We don't know who killed him. All we know is he was found in the car. The gun was found in the car. And we got this guy that's arrested. And I listened to his music. It was weird because a lot of the titles and captions he puts on Instagram, it's like Christian type music or Christian phrases but then you know a couple of times in the songs we'll talk about an op or shooting something but you can tell by looking at his page he wasn't in that lifestyle he wasn't putting on the gangster image you know everybody wants to talk about 30s and having ops and this that and the third smoking on this pack that pack but that's just because people want to do what's popping at the time people want to copy what is getting the views what is getting the attention that's what the rappers are gonna do if this one says this shit and it's sliding everybody's gonna start doing it but nothing from the music he put out from the pictures the videos of him that i've seen portrayed an image that would normally gain this type of violence you know it's you're less sympathetic when you see a gangster rapper talking about killing get killed because you feel like he almost brought it upon himself. That's the energy you're putting out. That's the energy that came back. Most people are going to be like, eh, well, it's fun watching it. You know what I'm saying? But to see someone that isn't giving off any of those vibes and then you have the mysterious post that was made saying he owed someone money. That could have been put up just to throw people off. That could have been 100% fake. I don't know. But I love doing these little true crime videos because it's a fucking mystery that I get to piece by piece put together as I stay on top of the court records and see what new information they're putting out. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time.